What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Washington, DC. Super excited about shooting this video today, mainly because I am trying out some new equipment, have a few lights set up in different areas of the house, uh, rather in the studio, and I am looking forward to seeing how the quality of the video comes out. You know, it's constantly a improving, battle you know learning to get better at your craft i was looking at some gary v wine library footage a little earlier you guys don't know i'm pretty sure you're probably familiar with gary vaynerchuk he built a social media following community that's truly truly a second to none and it's really exciting to see how he's come about doing it and a lot of it really started here on youtube and i want to talk with you guys a little bit about it let's go ahead and get started this is the wi-fi journal Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, this is on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to our social media channels. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit so that you can make money online. Like I mentioned in the opener, I was really just in the studio working on improving some of the things that we have in place. It's very important to continue to work on your crafts, uh, get better each and every day. And I believe that goes even further than just working on your content that you're sharing to the marketplace but also the overall atmosphere, the user experience, the overall quality of service in which you're providing, I think that should always continue to improve as well. And I truly believe that as you continue to improve your, upon yourself, these things can't help but improve right along with you. Today, I was watching some of the Gary Vaynerchuk early videos on YouTube. He created a social media brand right now that is truly powerful. And if you're familiar with his content, he actually started years, 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 years ago creating content for his father's wine, his father's wine store. I'm not sure if you call him a liquor store or not, but uh, he was working to uh, get more attention on his father's uh, store. So what he would do is create videos that was geared to individuals who enjoy wine and he would do different kind of reviews on wines and talk about how his experience and how he enjoyed drinking the wines. And that really took off. And when it took off, his business fame and notoriety took off as well. And what I gathered from that is that one, uh, I've seen his video, if you've seen his videos now, I mean, they are super, super high quality. I'm sure he has a guy following him around 24 7 creating powerful content probably has a, a complete editing department with 10 20 30 people in it just creating massive amount of content massive amount of content that we see on social media and what i took from all of this is that watching his earlier videos him just sitting sitting in front of a camera probably his phone or something to that regard, making a video and putting it on YouTube, believing that the content that he was creating was going to reach people in a way that was gonna fulfill a need that they had in which to understand, better understand, understanding wine and in the way that he was sharing it. So I think that's fantastic because it inspires me to want to continue on with the process, again, improving upon the equipment that I'm using, improving upon the message I'm sharing to better move along the journey in order to see this dream come to pass of not only creating a brand that touches millions worldwide, but also in helping millions of people turn their passion into profit and make money online. Today, I did a lot of work with what's called the fifth epiphany script. And that epiphany script is more or less the conversation or your background story to what brought you to this point that you feel that you're in a position to help someone else. My epiphany script may look something like me very early years starting in network marketing, doing some research to see how I can improve upon my network marketing business, finding affiliate marketing, creating a wife entrepreneur brand, telling everyone about both network marketing and affiliate marketing, how they can use these vehicles to make additional income online. 
Your epiphany script may be something similar or it could be very different. Uh, if you're a fisherman, I'll often talk about fishing. Your epi epiphany script may seem something like, you know, you used to always go to a certain pond where you know the bass were always hitting and you would fish with a particular bait and that particular bait would never catch you a sizable size bass that you were looking to catch. So what you did was you did some research, you found this Yakamoto baits that you feel that could do a little bit better. You gave them a try, you connect things up, went out to the pond, went fishing and you caught the biggest bass of your life. That's your epiphany script. You now fish with Yakamoto 24-7. So this is just an example of some of the things you can do to work on your epiphany scripts. I actually have a link down below that talks a little bit more about why you should consider creating an epiphany script and how to go about setting one up that benefits and shares your message the way that you want. I look forward to sharing that information. Like I said, it's in the, it's in the link down below. I also want to tell you about our new guide, a new free report that we just launched and made available to everyone, and that's our 21 internet marketing hacks. In this guide, we talk about a number of different ways you can create and operate an online business. You know, I talk a lot about blogging. Blogging is one of the ways. You may have heard me talk about creating a sales funnel, click funnels is another way. We also have things like webinars, blog tours, podcast interviews, social media marketing in the form of Facebook uh, promotions, YouTube sponsoring, and Instagram influencing. All of these are ways in which you can go about generating income online. And it doesn't really matter if you do or do not have a business already. I truly believe that the information in here can help you see ways in which you can go and further spread your message, whatever message that is. So I'm gonna leave a link for that also below. I'm gonna leave it here. It's pretty late here in Washington, D.C. I just wanted to make sure that I got online and shot this video. So I'm gonna leave it there until we talk again. Take care and be blessed. Peace.